Okay, hello everyone. My name is Alam. I am the International Marketing Officer at uh, ICLA, the International College of Liberal Arts, uh, which is one of the undergraduate departments of Yamanashi Gakuin University. Okay, so all the courses are taught in English at ICLA. So if you guys are worried at all about your Japanese ability to apply or to enroll, I'm happy to say that there is nothing to worry. And uh, at ICLA, we currently have uh, over 70% international students. The rest of uh, the students are, of course, domestic Japanese students. And those 70% international students are coming from more than 50 different countries and regions. So you can expect a really multicultural atmosphere at ICLA. Okay, so today, uh, well, of course, uh, you are attending this event. Uh, it means that you are interested in Japan and you, I, I guess, uh, know a fair amount of information about Japan. So I'll skip why Japan part. I'll talk about our curriculum, which is liberal arts. And of course, uh, about ICLA, what we offer, our fees and scholarships uh, and those things. So hang with me. Okay. So first of all, liberal arts, what is liberal arts? Uh, some of you may know, some of you may not know. Uh, liberal arts doesn't mean only, you know, social sciences. So it is actually a philosophy of education where you get a broad and diverse curriculum. So what happens usually is that, uh, you know, you study only one thing uh, for four years during your undergraduate period. But at, in liberal arts, you can study more than one subject area at the same time. So you get a broad and diverse curriculum. And the curriculum at the same time is actually interconnected. So you can mix and match, you can combine different subject areas uh, for the career that you want or the future course that you want to take. So it, it will give you that flexibility to kind of study, you know, whatever you are interested to study. Very importantly, liberal arts education focuses on how to think, not what to think. So you will not just, you know, memorize things and uh, appear in the exam. Uh, so no, we will not be like that. You'll be trained to gather information, analyze it, uh, come to a decision and then present it. So it will be uh, very important and very useful in that sense. And you'll be actively, uh, you know, participating in the learning process. So it will not be a classroom of, you know, uh, with hundreds of other students. Uh, it will be a small classroom uh, where you'll be encouraged to, uh, you know, express yourself. And there will be a lot of debates, discussions, presentations. So all that will definitely develop your employability skills. So it will help you find a job and it will help you do a job properly. Okay, so uh, some other kind of differences is that, you know, you, you will not have to choose your major when you apply. You will actually apply to the program. And then during the first year, there will be a common curriculum. So we don't actually mind if you are from science background or business background or social sciences background. If you're interested in our curriculum, you can apply, you can enroll. And then during the first year, you will go through a common curriculum, which will make you ready for all the majors that we are offering. So you can go for the major that you prefer, okay? So that will happen at the end of the first year. So you will have basically the first year kind of to try out different subject areas and find out what you are really interested in uh, or, you know, uh, what could be the most demanding subject area when you graduate. So you will have one year to decide about that. As I said, there will be a small class sizes, uh, focus on intellectual inquiry, and there will be a broad choice of electives that I'll talk about very shortly. So why ICLA? Why would you choose ICLA? What is special about it? First thing is the location. We are located in Kofu city in Yamanashi prefecture. If you are at all familiar with Japanese map, uh, well, you can just look at here. That kind of in the middle, you have Tokyo, of course, the capital city, uh, just to west of Tokyo uh, is the Yamanashi prefecture. So it takes around an hour and a half uh, from central Tokyo to uh, our city. So we have a very 
easy, convenient uh, access to Tokyo. So you can be there whenever uh, it's needed. But we are not in Tokyo. So, you know, the cost of living is uh, quite low, much lower than Tokyo, starting from monthly rent, actually. And this area is known as the home of Mount Fuji. Uh, of course, you may know about Mount Fuji. You've seen some photos or some of you may have already been here and seen it in person. So it's a beautiful place. Uh, three fourths of this mountain and all the uh, you know very famous five lakes around it are actually within the border of Yamanashi Prefecture. So we are happy to call ourselves as the home of Mount Fuji. And you can see actually Kofu City uh, kind of on this corner uh, with Mount Fuji in the backdrop. So Kofu City is like a valley with mountains surrounding us. It's a beautiful city, especially good for your uh, people interested in outdoor activities. So if you like outdoor activities, this could be a great place for you. Uh, now, as I briefly said, we are one of the undergraduate departments of Yamanashi Gakuin University. It is a private but not-for-profit educational organization. It was founded in 1946. Uh, we have over 4,000 students right now at the university. Uh, it's pretty well known within Japan for its sports division. We've had over 65 Olympians from here. Uh, there are five undergrad colleges and one postgrad school, but only at ICLA. Courses are taught in English, so we we'll focus on ICLA. At ICLA, we offer a four-year bachelor degree in international liberal arts. We don't offer any master's program at this moment at ICLA. 74% uh, of current ICLA students are international, as I said, from few different countries and regions. The student-to-faculty ratio is just seven to one. We are very happy about it, actually. It means that for every seven students, there is at least one professor or a staff. So whenever you need any advice, any guidelines, any support, there will always be someone to help you out. And again, all the courses are taught in English, so no worries about your Japanese ability, okay? Right, so, uh, you know, we, we have a very limited time to do some, just keep going. Our curriculum, we offer six majors at this moment, global business and economics, political science, interdisciplinary art, Japan studies, psychology and interdisciplinary data science. So actually psychology and data science, uh, these two are the newest ones. Uh, we are launching data science major starting from this fall. So, uh, well, we'll talk about the majors a little bit in, in a little bit, okay? So as I said, during the first year, there'll be a common curriculum and at the end of the first year, you will choose your major. But even after you choose your major, you can actually uh, take courses from other majors, okay? That's where the mix and match comes. So you can, for example, take business economics plus psychology courses or, you know, psychology plus arts courses, okay? And other than that, uh, there are electives in sociology, in uh, natural sciences. We offer a number of Japanese cultural workshops, for example, martial arts, okay? And uh, okay, let's talk about it in a bit. So within every major, there are at least three pathways that you can take. Uh, I won't go through everything, but if you are interested, you know, you, you can uh, find it out, you can check it out yourself. So for example, within data science major, uh, there are pathways for finance, for uh, psychology, for political economy. So depending on, you know, what you prefer, what you like, or, you know, if you, uh, want to build a good career, then uh, which uh, way your career looks to be brighter, you know, you, you can go for that pathway. Okay, so as I said, you don't need any Japanese ability to apply or to enroll, but we will teach you Japanese as part of the degree, okay? So you will not waste your time or money, but by the time you graduate, you will be able to speak, read, and write Japanese language. So you can come here with zero Japanese, start from our elementary level, then take intermediate, advanced, that will be up to you. We have an extensive study abroad program. So we have over uh, 70 partner universities right now in 30 different countries and regions. You can study for one or two semesters during your second or third year, uh, you know, uh, with one of our partners. All these are based on mutual tuition waiver. So no matter where you go, you will always pay ICLA fees. 
We have on-campus uh, dormitories with guaranteed accommodation for all first-year students. It's actually mandatory to live in the dormitory for at least the first year. So there will be individual rooms. Uh, you don't have to share your room with anyone else, which is a good thing, you know. But of course, there will be some common facilities uh, like bathroom and dining space, for example. So I will skip the tuition fees part because you will definitely not remember it. Check out our website. Uh, let me give you the good news is that we offer tuition waiver scholarships at 40 years from 25% to 50% to 75 to 100%. Uh, applying for scholarships is pretty easy. Our applications are completely online. Okay, so you can apply for the scholarships as part of uh, the application process. There is no additional requirement to be able to apply for scholarships. If you are eligible to apply for admission, you are eligible to apply for scholarships. So we actually have two intakes every year, fall and spring. Uh, applications are currently open for fall 2024 intake. If you, excuse me, if you are interested, uh, you can apply. If you can apply, uh, you know, before April 15th, we'll be happy uh, to receive your application. So our applications are completely online, okay? Uh, you can register and apply through this online portal. Uh, you will actually have to put all your information and upload all the documents there. Uh, and then you can apply that way. So there is no minimum GPA requirement. As I said, we don't mind about your uh, educational background. You can apply and after you apply, results will be decided based on a holistic review which will include your grades, but also, for example, essays and references. There will be an online interview, so performance in that interview, everything will be considered. We basically need two things, completing high school and English proficiency. For English proficiency, uh, we require at least Duolingo 95, or if you take IELTS, 6. If you take TOEFL, 76. It goes on like that. There is no Japanese needed, okay? Uh, well, as we don't have much time, so I will uh, skip this part. I'll just say that, you know, after you graduate, it will depend on you, basically, what you want to do, okay? We have students who have graduated and now working in Japan, who have graduated, uh, then went back home and uh, doing something there. We have students who have graduated and went for further studies. So we have the system in place, the support in place, so we'll be uh, able to help you with the decision that you make. Okay, thank you so much for listening. I will be available, you know, in the chat room. So come visit me if you have any questions. Uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, dear Alam, for your presentation, for closing the session today. So dear attendees, that was our last speaker for today. Uh, from um, Yamanashi Gakuin University, uh, International College of Liberal Arts.